I swear to god I just saw Stormtrooper on Ten Commandment. How awesome is that? Like that shit's been wrong for a while. Hey guys. Finally, I'm able to do this stuff. Hi. Hi. First of all, don't mind my eyes. Don't mind my eyes. Alright, I just finished crying. Alright, I just want to give a shout out to two different persons. I want to shout out to Jake for first. I want to thank him because he's the one who's been teaching me all about video editing and stuff. And please subscribe to Jade if you haven't. I will link it down below if you guys haven't subscribed to Jade. Second of all, I want to thank Emubert. You know who you are. And I know damn well you're watching my video without me knowing. So thank you so much for all your support and all your kindness to me. I just... Oh, I don't know how I live my life without you guys. Right. Moving on. Now, today is all about Yanus and Nanus, and I'm so excited because I haven't been doing this kind of video in two months. Two months, ladies and gentlemen. So, without further ado, I will show you the favorites that I really, really like. Of course, favorite is like, and the stuff that I don't really like. So, Yanus means, and Nanus means no. So, moving on. First item of the month is, I just found this little baby girl, baby girl, baby, wait, whatever, um, a couple days ago, and this is the Bourgeois Healthy Balance, and what it is is actually, I've been using this as a finishing powder, like for a touch-up thing, so I never use it as a powder foundation, mainly I just use loose powder every time I want to set my makeup. This thing is pretty creamy to, for the texture. But it's not creamy enough to be a powder foundation. I swear to God. If you hear whatever errring sound on the back, I'm really sorry. I've been complaining about that a lot, but moving on. I love to use it for touching up, apparently, in this area and the T-zone and all of the oily parts of my body. So, I love it. And I want to mention something about this as well. The smell is like... Fruit, fruit Loops? Fruit Pebbles? Whatever it is that, it just smells really, really nice. It smells fruity and floral and amazing. So if you guys happen to see this around your drugstore or whatever, go find this one. This is amazing. I love it. I know you cannot hear that, but it's really annoying. Really. Next thing is, I found this on FX yesterday, like, amazingly on Thursday, on oh, Tuesday, sorry, yesterday on Tuesday, I filmed this on Wednesday, so, um, I just really, really love it from the first time I met this, this is the make ma ma Makeover Trivia Eyeshadow, my shade is Emperor Brown, and, good sense, and they're just tri trio eyeshadows, but they are matte brownish color, so that is really, really nice if you want to have, like, some pop of um, matte shadows for a daily look. That's what I'm wearing today on my eyes, if you guys can see. That's what I'm wearing. And it's basically affordable, yet so pigmented. I mean, if you guys can see it on my hands right now. They're so beautiful. I love it. And they're so creamy, blendable, and really, they stay on very, very well. I wore this without a primer once, and it lasts a good amount of hours. It, I think it's almost four or five hours. It, it's a good decent amount of hours if you did not put a primer on, on top of it. So yay to this one. And it's really, it's really cheap for a uh, eyeshadow this quality. It's only eight dollars. Moving on. Dear camera, can you not die on me right now? I don't like it when you die on me. Okay. So, next, Yanis is actually F. This is Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer. How do you say that word? Contouring? Contouring? Whatever. And what basically is like, like a dual product. One is bronzer and one is blush. I had this one before, but I broke the bronzer. It's my stupidity, guys. I'm so sorry about that. But basically, this is a very pigmented bronzer. Like... It's so pigmented, you really need to be careful using that, like, look at that pigment. 
pigmentation right there is so pigmented and when it comes to contouring be very very careful with that like kind of you take a brush and then you just dip it and tap the excess and then just contour your cheekbones and temples of your um, forehead and be careful with um, the blush because you have to build it up as well it's not really showing up if you really have a dark skin but that's okay, it just kind of gives like that subtle glow and that's what I really like about this product. This is a must-have ha must have, must have in my purse. I really keep it everywhere with me, so yayness to this. Plus, it has a very big mirror and it's a little bit expensive since it's imported. So if you find it a little bit cheaper, you better go grab this one because it's a very nice product. Next thing that I got or at least I like, is this Maybelline New York, Maybelline, what did I say the New York thing, Maybelline Clear Smooth Extra Shine Free Powder Foundation, there you go, and my shade is Honey, and I use this as a powder foundation, you guys know that I hit pan on my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation, and I use this as a substitute, and this has the very same quality, even for my own personal thought, it's better, and um, it has a very good amount of coverage, it is oil free and it stays on forever and ever and it's cheap it's only three dollars so if you guys don't have the budget for NYX because I know NYX kind of categorized as a very high-end product in here you better go grab this one it has a very safe amount of quality next thing is a very new not very new new found item and this is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm and I have it in the shade Elusive you guys know how you have a full lips and you don't really want shiny lips. I do like the Revlon Original Color Burst Matte ba uh, the Balm. I really like it, but this one is even better because it's matte. And for my own um, kind of lips con lip condition, my lips is pretty big and pouty, and I cannot use a very shiny lip product on my um, lips. And uh, I, therefore I have to use matte, and sometimes matte lipsticks are tend to very drying. But that's not what happened with this one. This is very smooth, very creamy, and I really like applying my lips with this. And it's just simple, you know, two steps in one product, and that was amazing. I really love it. Next thing that I really love are two of these things. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo, and my shades are Tough as Taupe and Bold Gold. I didn't really like this one because I thought it was really chunky, was really messy all over the place, but I knew how to make it work is that I have to heat it on the hair dryer and pat it all over my face. So yeah, it's, it's pretty working for me so far and I also like the toughest stove. It's kind of make me feel like I'm using a very high-end product. The two of them kind of makes me feel like I'm using Max Paint Pot. I tried Max Paint Pot before, but I really, l l I'm leaning towards the both of them. I'm leaning towards the Maybelline Color Tattoo better, so yay for this too. The last yayness of the month, and this is Miss Lin Skin Corrector Pencil in number three. Uh, the one, the downside about this product is that it's really hard to find. Like if you guys stay in either. Uh, Taman Anggrek or Karawachi, you are dead on lucky to have this. This is actually just a nude pencil, but what I really like about this is that it's, um, it's good for your inner rim to kind of make you illusion that you're awake, and it, sometimes I use it for under the brow because you don't, you know, there are times where you want to hide that hidden hair, unnecessary hair, because here's the thing, I'm very good at growing hair that is not on the head, like hair. I'm very good with growing hairs on my eyebrows and on my armpits. So I really need to cover at least one of them and I cover up with this. This is very good, I love it, and that's my last yayness, people. Okay now for the moment of truth. Let's face it you guys, 99.999% of this video are dedicated to girls who are in love with beauties or stuff like that but yeah you know there are occasionally where two guys are looking at me as well but anyway this is part of what I don't like about my thing so let's just get started into it okay and my nanus one of my nanus this month I have two nanus one of my nanus is this bra mm -hmm. this bra I remember buying this bra on Carrefour. See, I don't even have the taste where to buy my bra. I really liked this bra at first because 
it's padded and it's wired and I really like it but the more I was looking in the mirror like what is wrong with me like I kind of having something that's a little bit odd and you know what my jugs on my chest is sha are shaped like cones like you know like it's a coney boobs and I just why I don't want to have a coney boobs I don't want to look like ro robot girls in Austin Power movies that shoot bullets out of their boobs I don't want that so I really hate this this makes my boobs kind of coney I wore I wear this around the house but I don't wear it outside of the house because you know it's kind of visible on your shirt they kind of my my tits are like long and coney and pointed and it's like it's like saying hey look at me twist me twist me and you get a prize and I don't want that hmm. last Janus last time of the video is actually my Etude CC Cream in Silky I have one in Glow I just didn't show it and uh, what I don't like about this is that I don't know the first time I don't like about this is because of the white cast like yeah it really comes off so bright on your skin if you don't have like a very fair skin this is a trouble and I thought that was the only thing that I don't like about this product but then I try to use it again today yes people I'm the dummy that tried on my nanas today and I tried it and I was like, okay, that's fine, you know, it's not too bad, it's, it, the brightness is not too bad. And then the sun hit on my face and it made me damn sweaty. And you know what happened? It burns on the cheek area. It like burned so freaking bad. And it still burns right now. And I just really hate it. Like, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm never gonna use it again, probably, or maybe not directly, directly towards the sun because this thing stings like really it just like that it's like it absorbs to your skin and it's burning from your inside and it's just really really stinging I, do, I don't like this like yeah probably I'm not gonna wear this directly to the sun so no good for the sun there you have it guys uh, that's my anus and anus and I'm so glad to be able to do this again because I haven't been doing this for two months and I have lots of products to share you and I finally be able to do it thank you so much you guys for watching this video please subscribe if you haven't and please just bear with me because I've been talking a lot about a lot of stuff lately so um yeah just have fun okay I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye